Okay, so here's just a quick update here, guys. Some of you guys asked about the inline fuse that I'm gonna put on my power supply to supply my floodlight towers. Let's assume this is the floodlight tower. Right now, I just have the power supply coming directly in, positive and negative, into there. So what I'm gonna do, I found a switch from a PC, an old PC power supply, computer power supply. And there were two terminals here, and I figured that once the switch switches, it just connects this terminal to this terminal. Okay, so, and I just put a wire nut on there as a button. So I fashioned up with some old Yankee Ingenuity. I put some one inch L brackets on here. And what I'm gonna do is tie this up underneath my layout, the fascia of my layout, and I'll just put some drywall screws up in and it'll just sit there and then I can hit it. I shrink tube the wires coming out and I got two wires coming out. So <clears throat> all I'm gonna do is it's, it's all power right now. So I'm gonna take one of these wires that was going to the floodlight tower. And I'm gonna hook it in line on one of these wires, okay? Can't keep it together here to show you, but, and it's gonna come down and let's, let's say it's this one here. It's gonna come down and I just spliced in line this nifty little mini fuse holder. Okay, so I just cut it in the middle. I know it's hard to see. I cut it in the middle and put a wire nut on and it just runs the one wire through this and you put a mini fuse, I put a 7.5 amp fuse in there. The other wire just continues right on through. And then it comes down and goes through the switch. So when you, you hit the switch, it's just gonna connect, this would be easier if it wasn't so long and I had to make it long enough to do what I wanted. So you come in down here through the fuse holder and the fuse up, up and around to the switch, back through the switch, back and then back down to here, which will go to there. It's not difficult. Um, this isn't gonna solve the world's problems here by showing you this, but it'll give you an idea of some of the parts I use. You can get these for five or six bucks on eBay. They're mini fuse holders. They're like the ones they used to put in the cars. I guess now in the cars they put these too. They're mini versions. And you just stick them in there and you can cap it off if you want. And uh, that's an inline fuse. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. The orange switch on the left is the one that I just tied in with the inline fuse for my floodlight towers. So if we take a look at one down here and I hit my switch down here, okay? So I feel a lot better now that I tied the fuse in line there. I can do up to seven and a half amps on that circuit. And as I showed you before, there's another tower here and all of these smaller ones like here and over here and down the line here. They're all tied in together on that one circuit and I can hit it with this switch. This one does the uh, buildings in town here, okay? And they're just old PC power supply switches. I just put a wire nut on them. Okay, I hope that gives somebody some ideas for their layout. Thanks for watching.